hello there my dear friends welcome back to the Scott Reed project so today we are going to be making a chicken pie using good old leftovers so funny times here in the UK talk of food shortages you go into any supermarket over in the moment uh, the shelves are half empty and in the news they're saying food prices are going to go up there's going to be a shortage of turkey, uh, a shortage of pork, so on and so forth. So there's no better time than learning how to make something out of leftovers. Of course, years ago, our grandparents, this was just the norm, you know. But uh, yeah, what we need to do, pretty much, exactly what it says on the tin, is get breaking this chicken down and we don't want no skin we don't want no bone we just want all the lovely breast and what's left of these thighs so yeah nice little trick as you know they are the sweet spot on the chicken or the turkey any game bird these lovely little oysters here that sit just above the thigh i mean that is pure gold mm, so tender so yeah it's a case of getting your hands in I think I need a knife we'll cut that breast off to start with and then we could just go over picking the carcass nice and simple we're looking for about 700 grams if we can The wishbone there and pull that off get the meat and what we'll do is just put all that meat into a bowl put that there then we can go through and pick over it just get the main meat off we can make a stock with the carcass then you would very often find a chicken carcass or a turkey carcass at Christmas in the fridge and I'd come in after the pub and I'd literally pick that up put it on a plate butter some bread get the salt out and literally just put salt on the carcass pick bits off and eat it with me bread and butter wonderful so there's our chicken just need to go over now and just break it up a little bit not too much just get rid of any funky bits dogs can have that break up that breast as I mentioned earlier you know leftovers was the norm so if you add say a leg or shoulder of lamb you didn't eat it all next day through the old hand mincer made a shepherd's pie and I'm not saying it's gonna get bad I, I don't believe in any of this scandal mm, excuse me but it's always good to have these skills in your arsenal so yeah this is looking good looking for roughly 700 grams and like I said absolutely no wastage so you've had a meal off your chicken your leftover meat into this wonderful pie and of course your carcass full stock Parsons nose took me years before I ate one of them Right, let's give it away up and see what we got. Come on. Wow. We got 500 grams just under. That'll do. We can make a pie with that. And if you've got a bit more, then 
yeah, all the better. But at the end of the day, you make do. How wonderful do those colours look? So, what about two leaks? But these are, in all fairness, quite big. So, we'll see how we go. Gonna split it. And then just cut it into decent sized chunks. As you know, I'm a rebel, I live on the edge. I'm cutting veg on a meat board. I don't care, man. I don't care. So that's our leeks ready. I'm just gonna get our mushrooms done now. By all means, you can use button mushrooms for this, but I haven't got any. Surprise, surprise, they had none, which is getting quite a regular occurrence, but you just have to adapt. So yeah, these closed cups, just into about three. We don't want them to lose their integrity. Although this is not one of those pies where the bejays is stewed out of it. It's more just warm through. So yeah, there's our shrooms, man. It's our shrooms. Okay then, so we've prepped our veg. There's our leeks and our mushrooms on that red board. It looks like a culinary Rothko painting. We've got our chicken there, lovely. We've got 250 mil of chicken stock. Got about 100 mil, 150 mil of cream. You can use single cream, double cream. 50 grams of butter. And about a good tablespoon of flour. Plain flour, got some salt, got some pepper over there. In the background, my very latest book that's just come out this week. SLP Volume 4, back in the game, all about rabbit. So yeah, nothing to do with chicken. So what we need to do then, we we'll go over to the stove, get the butter in the pan, get sweating down our leakage. Now if you've got some celery as well, that'd be really cool in this. Use about three or four stalks, chop it, and get that sweating down. Be absolutely superb, my friends. My little furry friends. Right. Let's do it. Okay, so we got the afterburners lit underneath our pan. By the way, the B1 bombers are here at RAF Fairford on a deployment. Sounding amazing, looking amazing. So I better just turn that down a bit. We don't want to burn our butter, man. Don't burn your butter. So yeah, get it in there. Get it melting away. You can always add a bit of oil if you want to, just to stop the butter burning. Yeah, I'm happy with that. In they go. Give them a good coating, and we just want to turn the heat down and let them tick over. Until they soften. Wonderful, as you can see then, they're wilting down and softening. I know what will make it soften even better. Some nice music by Toto. Okay, Alexa, play. I went driving last night on a dark canyon road. What a tune. Had the sky to myself. Ooh, chicken thighs. So we've got our leeks or oh, softly, softly catchy monkey. I'm gonna put in our stock. Like the donkey I am, I was too busy digging. Bit of toto action. I forgot to add in my flour, so 
yeah, you don't want to be doing this when you've got loads of liquid. You don't want lumps. But that's the way we roll, baby. You know that. Dangerous. In with the cream. I'm actually going to turn the heat right down for this. Get it on a smaller burner. You just want to let that simmer five or ten minutes. So it's bubbling away nicely. I'm just gonna tip the shrooms in. Just let them get to know the sauce. Like I said, when we bake this, these will soften, but we want a bit of integrity to it. Yeah. Look at that. And the heat just a touch. I think the colours look amazing. You can see those mushrooms are just just starting to soften. So in with our cooked chicken. And like I said earlier, you could do this with leftover turkey or any leftover game. And bear in mind this is a pie, we don't need loads of sauce, just enough keep it nice and moist so yeah fold in our chuck chuck we'll taste it for seasoning a little bit of pepper so just keeping it on the heat while we adjust the seasoning but that, you know, you could easily pile that on top of pasta, pile it on top of mashed potato, serve it with roast potatoes and veg, or fill up what Yorkshire pudding with it. It's so versatile and absolutely wonderful. Give it a little bit of salt. Fold it in, and that, believe it or not, is all the hard work done. And that really wasn't, as you've just seen, exactly hard work. Let's have a go on this. Wow! Oh yeah! I could just eat that. This is deadly, you see. So there is our wonderful pie meat, lovely chunks of chicken there, look at that. And those wonderful slices of mushrooms and our leeks, that lovely gravy. I'm going to go and get some nice fresh parsley, chop it finely, zhuzh it up a bit, zhuzh. What kind of a word is that? Then get it into the appropriate receptacle, whack some pastry on top, bung it in the oven, cook it off. Roberts, your mother's brother, you know that. How easy was that, man? So I've got my oven preheating gas mark six, 200 degrees C, what a wonderful pie dish. Like I said, this is an easy, leftover chicken or turkey pie easy to prepare quick to prepare so yeah nothing fancy in your pie dish as you can see there's enough sauce there just press it down i'm going to get our pastry on and get it in the oven yeah lovely look at that that over there, it's messing with my mind. Yeah, it don't look too shabby, considering it was left over chuck chuck. So now we got the pastry, you know, we fold in the butter and the flour, you know, and add whatever we need to add, and then roll it, fold it, roll it, fold it. No, we don't. 
No one has the time to make their own pastry. So just get yourself a decent block of ready-made. Obviously you can use the sheets as well, but I like my pastry to be a bit thicker on my pies. And I'll show you why. And just begin to gently roll it out. I think that will do us. We'll give it one of them. So here is the easy bit. We get our pie. We get our pastry. We're just going to lay it on the top. We ain't going to mess about. We're just going to basically fold it in nice and rustic. It's the way forward. It'll give you a lovely top. No messing about. A bit of trim off. You can even fold these bits in if you want to. It doesn't really matter. It's all going to look good. So nothing flash then. Nice and rustic. We're just going to put a blow hole whatever you want to call it here so this is nice thick pastry tease it up then with a the beaten egg just give it an egg wash and what we do we get it in our preheated oven so I've tidied that end up for initially 15 minutes and we can see where we are then my big sausage fingers trying to make it look pretty okay then so this has been in the oven for 15 minutes ain't looking too bad is it what I want to do is just give it another glaze really simple see what I mean about how forgiving puff pastry is yeah you wouldn't tell that I've just chucked that on <laughs> unless maybe you were a Michelin starred chef but this is the real world we're cooking real food for real people so yeah the main thing is it's done with love and it tastes wonderful so yeah that's simple back in 15 minutes okay then so remember this was already cooked the filling all we needed to do was cook the pastry and there you have it 30 minutes in the oven gas box six 200 degrees c and you get this wonderful wonderful rustic pie so easy to make and it's absolutely delicious but before we dive into this volcanic beauty we need to let it just settle a bit then we can cut us a lovely slice on a plate maybe make up a bit of gravy <sighs> sounds like a plan Stan so there she is in all her glory as you can see it's one packed Pie. All it needs is a little bit of gravy. Nice, thick, chicken gravy. Okay, let's dive in. Pastry could do with a bit more, I imagine, but hey ho, I just know. Come on. It's going to taste awesome. Mm. 
so good. Lovely big chunks of chicken. Look at me using my fingers, man. Like a hobo. Mm. I'm so hungry. I could eat chips from a tramped knickers. So, before I finish this up, and before I get another indigestion bout from just necking food on here, I just want to say, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the SRP. Look at me still fiddling. If you did, obviously subscribe when my face comes up down here somewhere. Uh, like it, so share it. Also check me out on my social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, at the Scott Reed Project. And if you're feeling generous. I want to share the love. Check out my Patreon page. But until next time, you know what to do now when you've got the leftover chicken, the leftover turkey at Christmas, and any leftover game. Get your pie on. Till next time, my friends. I'm going to enjoy this. Look at that, love. All the best.